The mobilization efforts for Republicans in New Mexico's 2nd Congressional District are in full swing, with Congresswoman Yvette Harrell's campaign spending over $2.5 million since January of 2021, according to the Federal Election Commission. In September, the GOP opened a Hispanic Outreach Center sponsored by the Republican National Committee. According to Harrell, the center has been used as a hub for party members to meet, as well as a place for Hispanic voters to learn more about the party. Hispanic voters, whether they're independent or Republican or even uh, Democrat, can feel like, you know, this is a place of community. And I think that's what's really been the highlight of these two centers. Nationally known Republicans have been campaigning for Harrell, including Ohio Congressman Jim Jordan and Texas Senator Ted Cruz, who visited Las Cruces on his Take Back America tour. Revival is coming. This election cycle, the Republican Party is rallying supporters around border issues, election integrity, economic uncertainty, and criticism of the current presidential administration. The worst illegal immigration in 62 years. Supporters of the campaign are out in droves, looking to have their voices heard and help turn the Mexican representation in Washington red this year. Daniel Taylor is a pastor in Las Cruces. He says that he's voting to save the future of America. This country's life, our life, our children, grandchildren, all depend. Their lives depend on it. I'm not being dramatic. It really does. They're taking this country down a path towards war and being not a superpower. So it's time we said enough and stop it. So get out and vote. Yvette Harrell has been using this leg of her campaign to highlight New Mexico's oil production while criticizing the Biden administration's foreign energy policy. And I don't know about you, but I don't feel like asking Putin if we can use energy or not. I don't, I don't feel like asking Saudi Arabia, is it okay if we turn our heat on this year? Because we can do it better at home. Congresswoman Harrell says that receiving support from national political figures has been a huge help for gathering support for her campaign. It helps people realize that, you know, New Mexico is not a forgotten state. There's some pretty great people out there that believe in New Mexico and New Mexicans and what we stand for as a state. And so I, I'm very excited to have, number one, those friendships, but number two, the support. And of course, you know, I always want to share that excitement with, with people that live in New Mexico. So I'm happy that they're coming, um, you know, nearby so that we can all kind of get there to see them. With the amount of political activity in southern New Mexico, it's apparent that the GOP is out in full force, working to mobilize voters in order to retain control of New Mexico's 2nd District and beyond. For KRWG Public Media, I'm Johnny Coker.